Story at noon, the teen arrested in connection with a shooting right outside of Miami Carroll Senior High School. You see him right there. He was back in court today. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahone is at his hearing. She's joining us now live. Leanne? Well, Christy, today's hearing was essentially a continuation of yesterday's bond hearing. Cedric Admus, he is charged with carrying a concealed weapon, using a weapon during the commission of a felony, and trespassing on school grounds with a weapon. In the end, the judge ordered he be held on $16,000 bond, and if he's able to get out, post that bond, he will be on house arrest. Cedric Adams. Cedric Admus appears before a judge for the second day in a row for his role in a shooting that sent bullets flying into Miami Carroll City High. There was somebody injured. There was somebody that was grazed. We do not know whether it was a bullet wound at that point or he injured himself trying to get away. Neighbors described a shootout between gang members right in front of the school. Police say Admus was in a car with a group of people, jumped out and approached another gang member who was walking in front of Carroll City High. Bullets went through the fence of the school, pierced windows during the shootout. Faculty members were inside the office along with dozens of students around for extracurricular activities. A detective who responded to the scene Tuesday spoke at today's hearing. She told me he then pulled a handgun out of his waistband and pointed it towards her. And, and the, the school in that direction. Now that Adnus has been charged, police are turning their attention towards finding 19 year old Stanley Reagan, a known gang member seen running away with a gun shortly after the shooting. And of course, investigators are still looking for information, including the whereabouts of Stanley Reagan. If you know anything about where he is or have new information you think police could use, go ahead and give Miami Dade Schools Police a call. Reporting live in Miami this afternoon, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.